Hello and welcome to this Affinity Photo iPad Beginner's Guide Part 15 where I want to look at the perspective tool and there's a little, also a little nod towards the guide tool as well. Um, there are two ways to add the perspective tool both of them are filters one of them is the more destructive way and the other one is non-destructive so let's first have a look at what the perspective filter can do but first I want to add some guidelines to help me position the perspective when I alter it so I'm going to click on the um, menu up here and further down we have guides now in the context menu at the bottom you can add horizontal and add vertical and next to that there's a little white arrow which will give you more options if you know sort of precisely how many millimeters you want your guides to be but I'm not going to do that I'm just going to sort of click add horizontal and you get this red sort of dotted line and you can click and hold and move this to wherever you want so I'm going to put it about there then I'm going to add a vertical line and I'm just going to click and drag this over to it sort of lines up to the second pencil in from the right and then I'm going to add another vertical guideline and I'm going to move this in to the second pencil from the left oh and by the way I got this image from the stock tab from pixabay.com but you know, obviously you can use this on whatever images you want so if I then click on the move tool those like red lines will now become blue and you can see where they are on the screen and I will be using those to give me the positions for how I'm going to alter the perspective of this image so if I come to the filters menu and at the moment we have all filters so if I just click and hold on the word all filters and move to the left I'm going to come down to distortions and then it's just a case of scrolling until I find perspective which is just here under mirror oh there's one thing I did forget to mention which I'll do this now I'll come back to the layers menu if you notice this image that I brought in has come in as an image layer it's not a pixel layer it is an image layer um, so that is quite important to note at this point so I'll come back to the filters and select perspective and as you can see the assistant has rasterized this layer so if I come back to the layers menu you can now see that that is now no longer a image layer it has been converted into a pixel layer for this filter to work so now we have the perspective filter open as you can see there's white dots in each corner and you can tap and hold one of these dots and bring it in to those guidelines so as you can see I've altered the perspective of how those pencils looked now obviously we can now see the background of the document behind the image and you could sort of try and crop this in some way to keep that perspective but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a pixel layer and I'm going to bring this down until it's underneath my image and I did forget to apply my perspective so I'm going to do that again 
I must admit, I keep forgetting to apply. There we go. Now I'll click apply. So I don't need these guides anymore. So I can just, if I'm on the move tool, I can just click. Let me undo that. Should be able to just click on the guideline. No, it's not going to let me. Just click and drag those, drag those out of the way. Now, unfortunately, the horizontal guideline is underneath that outer binding box, so I can't sort of get to it at the moment. But what I'll do is I will highlight that bottom layer, select the flood fill tool and the color is white anyway and I'll just click in that white area and now because I'm not on the move tool I can see that guiding line I should be able to drag it out of the way no it won't let me I think you do need to be on the move tool there we go that's better I can get that out of the way now and I can then crop this if I wanted to to bring that down and now I could change the however I want to crop it and sort of uh, that's how I've changed the perspective using the filter and like I said it will change the image layer into a pixel layer so let me just reset this and then we can I can show you the other way of doing this right so I've reset this and we've gone back to being this being an image layer let me just move this slightly so that will fit better if I open up a bigger panel on the right so like before I'm going to add the guidelines uh, I'll do the vertical ones first so again coming to the second pencil on the right and then add another vertical to the second pencil on the left and then add that horizontal one and put it about there roughly so come back to the move tool to make those permanent I seem to have added one in the middle as well but I can I'll leave that there so now we're going to add the filter so again come to the filters menu but this time when it's underneath where it's got distortions at the moment it's got add live filters and if I tap that it will only display those filters that are available as live filters so again if you're not on distortions you need to come to distortions and then perspective is somewhere here here we go so I'll select perspective and if I come back to the layers menu as you can see that filter has been added as a child layer of the image and the image is still an image layer it's not been converted into a pixel layer like it would be with the destructive way of adding a filter so this is non-destructive and because of that means you can come back in and alter things later on if you want to so what I'll do is again move this to the guidelines I set up and you must remember to I don't think I need to apply this time because because it's a live filter you don't need to apply it because you are able to come back in and alter it if you so desire so again I will add that pixel layer and click and drag that down and below that image use a flood fill tool is set on white and then I can flood fill that and then I should be able to use the move tool to 
drag these guides out of the way so they're not a problem. There we go, that's all of them out of the way. And much like before, I could come in and crop this. But like I said, I could come back to the perspective tool and make an alteration if I so desire, which is something you couldn't do if it had been a pixel layer using the destructive filter. So come off of that tool and that is how you can change the perspective sort of repeatedly by using the live filters. So that is it I think. Thank you for watching and goodbye.